14th of August 1944. When Germany invaded Poland, Poland was also invaded two weeks later by Russia in a secret German-Russian pact. Now, because Poland had been attacked from both sides, it was too difficult to defend, and after weeks of heroic fighting, eventually the Polish army collapsed. This gave Polish soldiers, Polish airmen a conundrum. They wanted to carry on the fight to defend their homeland, but that homeland no longer existed. So they made it work out any way they could to get first to France and then to the UK to continue the fight. Over a million Polish citizens were then deported by uh, the Russians in the area controlled by Soviet Russia to Siberia. And later on, Stalin, when it suited him, made an army from those Polish uh, men uh, in order to carry on the fight. The commander of the first independent Polish parachute brigade, General Sosabowski, pleaded to allow to have his airborne troops flown into Warsaw to help the defense, a mission that they've been training for ever since the brigade was created. His mission was refused. The troops would later on be used in the failed Operation Market Garden later on in 1944. And they, like all the civilians and other soldiers of Poland who were exiles from their homeland, had to listen to the news and radio reports as their capital went up in flames. Trying to understand the values that the people who fought in the Warsaw Rising were living up to can be quite hard for a modern generation. But I think what sums it up best is this excerpt from a opinion piece that was written on this day in 1944. It is the role of every generation of Poles, not only to suffer, but to fight. Suffering brings out in us the will to fight. Trying to rob us of freedom is a hopeless task. And you'll see over every episode of 63 Days of Extraordinary Courage how the young resistance fighters lived up to those ideals. Thank you very much for watching this episode of 63 Days of Extraordinary Courage. Tune in to tomorrow's episode at 5 p.m. Warsaw time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to share this film and write your view underneath using the hashtag 63 Days. <laughs>